Hey guys, welcome into the ranch. Today I introduce you to Mega Lunch. This uh, wicked, wicked thing, machine, that is uh, buried in this thing. Uh, I picked up recently, it's a big old brush cutter. A billy goat is the Mac Daddy that they make. I picked it up from a 77 year old lady. It's, it's a year or two old. It's got like 20 hours on it. And uh, she used it for making and maintaining trails. I'm using it to get myself out of the massive hole that I'm in, this place is crazy overgrown, but also to make a bunch of trails. A bunch of really sweet trails, like back over in those bushes, which is exactly where we're going now. Now, I did pick it up like a month ago. Um, so let's see if she starts. I haven't run it in about three weeks. So let's, uh, let's do that. Give her the choke and take the throttle on to low. Electric start, let's see if she goes. Can you ask for more? Beautiful. Okay, now that I've demonstrated how beautifully it starts, even after sitting for several weeks, um, as it should, as it should, but this is, it's also a little bit dusty. I have been using this. It's awesome. This is their Mac Daddy unit by Billy Goat, their Outback series, uh, with one exception. It doesn't have the front casters, which is actually a good thing because, at least for, for my application, while the casters help you maneuver around a little bit better, they are definitely going to be in the way when you're going to go into the bush, which is exactly what I got it for. So I can go back out in all those, in all that mess all back there and cut in some trails. And also just deal with the massive overgrown nature um, that I received this property in. Uh, it's like a hundred year old ranch in the same family for generations, at least a couple. And uh, yeah, the grass was, some of the grass was taller than me when I showed up. So I knew I needed help. And this was the unit to help me. So it's gonna, it's, it's already been incredible and we're gonna just use it a ton more for all the trail building we do out here. Anyways, it's, uh, it's been designed to just really deal with it all. It's, so it is a heavy duty blade under here. Oh, we'll tip her back. This machine is over 300 pounds, but there you go. Heavy duty blade and it's reversible. So that's good. You can see I've nailed a couple things or at least the previous owner did, but it's probably me as well. I've hit a few big rocks. And that's again why I went with a unit like this. The shaft is reinforced in all four directions and it's belt driven. And what that allows for is you to mess up, basically. The idea is that this can go into the unknown where you might encounter things like large rocks, logs, timber, whatever, chunks of metal, and this is gonna be fine. If it hits it, that's okay. The belt system absorbs it, the bar can take it, and you can just keep on chowing down. Whatever that thing can push down, this thing can chew up and you'll be on your way about your business. So it is a heckin' unit, very cool. It's also got the articulating deck. That way it's just nicer for uneven terrain, going around hills and things like that. Um, I've It's been great for me here. They sell a fixed deck version as well. Less expensive, but this is nicer. Again, this was the Mac Daddy, I got lucky. Again, it's basically brand new. Um, but uh, definition of uh, old lady driven because it was owned by an old lady. She was fantastic though. She was a little spitfire. 77 years old, but still going strong. She, she actually bought another one of these, but just a smaller one. This one is a little bit just too much. And it is, you do have to uh, manhandle it a little bit when you're in tight corners or going around the bush and stuff like that. And it can be a little, you know, labor intensive. That's okay. I needed something big and bad. And that's what this guy is. This also has the hydrostatic drive. So you just feather this and it goes forward or you feather this and it goes backwards. And it's got, uh, you know, kind of variable speed based on how far you're depressing that. You depress this for engaging your mower deck. Let's see what else. You guys saw the choke function. That's just to get her going. This has the electric start, which is great. Um, and this is your throttle right here. So you can throttle her all down. That'll, that'll kill the engine. And that's your full range of motion on the throttle. All that's doing is uh, pulling in that little guy down there. So, pretty simple. This is powered by a Honda GVX 390. It's like a 13 horse. It's a beast. There are, you can also get the different version, I think, with the Briggs & Stratton. Ironically, <clears throat> Briggs & Stratton owns Billy Goat, but they still offer the Honda engine as the premium offering. So, that's kind of cool. Apparently, you can also get, um, like, no flat tires. I called these guys and they did say that you can do that. That is one of their upgrade. Um, these are not those. 
but they do say that they fill them full of the slime. So if you do puncture it, it's meant to be kind of self, self-healing, I suppose. Oh, the other reason I was happy for the Honda is it is rated for slightly hillier terrain. I'm gonna ask the tech at Billy Goat this before I bought it when I was just looking at this unit as a potential uh, asset for out here. Because we have, as you can see, a lot of hills and some of them are fairly steep. Uh, the Honda, I think, is rated for 20 degrees? Something like that. He basically said like, okay, well, 2025, sure. Just don't do it for extended periods of time. And that is just for the sake of the oil. If the motor is at a certain plane for too long, you're just gonna, it's not gonna get proper lubrication. So yes, you can do it for a bit because the lubrication will last for a little while, but don't do it for extended periods of time. You wanna return to level so that everything can get a fresh coating of lubrication inside the engine um, for your long-term enjoyment and use. Anyways, I'm gonna fire this thing up, take it out into the bush and cut some trails. I'm gonna, I already started in there. I'm gonna go up there um, through some other paths I've already started and then come back down through there Hope, if I make it all the way out there, that was a really good day. We'll see. That'll be in a separate video, but that is the task at hand for Mr. Mega Munch over here. He's been dubbed Mega Munch because that's what he does. Oh, coyotes are out, and Turbo has noticed. I also got to double check if my cat is uh, around. If not, I need to go get my cat because my cat is out there somewhere. He's got that little. Uh, the little tractive GPS unit, which is fantastic. It makes finding him very easy. Retrieving him sometimes is a chore, but at least I can find out where he is. So I'm going to go do that because the coyotes are sounding off early tonight. And when they do, I got to get, I got to go get them. So 